3 Harikota, Sunday, 17th April. A great day for India as the nation prepares to launch an advanced developmental satellite and so higher into space. The 23 meter long four stage SLV-3 rocket is to put a 41.5 kilogram Rohini satellite into an elliptical orbit. The computer carries out checks on 600 parameters before the launching. To the mission team of 800 scientists and technicians, this is a day of great expectations, for on this success depends future achievements. The pre-launching operations are viewed with bated breath by Prime Minister Indira Gandhi, the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Mr. N.G. Ramarao, a number of scientists and technicians and members of the press. Blockers TM2. Go ahead TM2 blockers. Momentary out of lock of TM2. All stations stand by for the time mark. The launch vehicle technology involves several branches of science and engineering. 43 major industries have contributed to the building of the rocket with 44 major systems and 250 subsystems. As the countdown begins, every second adds to the excitement. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. A triumphant smile as the rocket streaks into the blue. The success of this venture stabilizes India's stature as a member of the Seven Nations Satellite Club. For reconfirmation of orbit from Surandam Ground Station. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Meeting the press after the launching, Mrs. Indira Gandhi says... Not for the pride of it, but in order to serve something much bigger, that is for the good and the welfare of the people of India. Because each such experiment gives us greater knowledge and information which can be used by the common man, especially by the farmers and peasants. If we know more about the weather, more about the monsoon, more about the land and the oceans around India. This will be of enormous help uh, to planners, to cultivators, producers, even to housewives and others. This was the first time I'm actually at a site. And as I said, I was thrilled, excited and proud. I should like to congratulate the brilliant young men whom you have uh, met here and the other men and women who have been working on this project day and night for many months. Speaking on our future plans, Professor Satish Dhawan, Chairman, Indian Space Research Organization. The advanced launch vehicle of the augmented SLV and the polar launch vehicle. The first of these will launch about 150 kilograms into orbit. The the SLV, which is really a large one, will be able to place about a thousand kilograms into sun-synchronous orbit. 